Hello, students. I'm librarian Nora Rackley. Personal communications are often used to get firsthand accounts of people's experiences. Let's explore how to create an APA 7th edition reference for these important resources. According to the APA Handbook 7th edition, personal communications are messages that readers cannot recover. This includes email, personal interviews, speeches, classroom lectures, and much more. The APA Handbook also states that it's best to use a recoverable source if there is one available. For example, a professor's lecture may include information about a research study. If the original study is available, it is better to use that as the source. If the information is not printed, it's okay to cite the lecture as a personal communication. Because the messages can't be recovered, they do not belong in the references list. They are used in the text only. To cite the personal communication in the body of your paper, use the author's first initials, the author's last name, and a date that is as close as possible to the date the communication occurred. Use the descriptive phrase personal communication to describe the type of source. When citing a personal communication in the body of your paper, you can use either a signal phrase, like this first example, or a parenthetical reference, like the second example. In the first example, the descriptive phrase personal communication precedes the date in parentheses after the name. In the second example, the name, the descriptive phrase, and the date are all included in the parentheses. Notice that unlike other citations, we include the complete date instead of just the year. Refer to the APA manual, the APA style website, LSSC's Citation Center, or other videos for more information on these concepts.